in the beginning I have to say it was pretty rough the first couple of years you know they kept waking themselves up as well and uh, of course also I had to do the you know uh, wake up sometimes daddy duties uh, yeah exactly I mean <laughs> we're talking you know diapers. maybe once or twice a night diapers you name it I've, I had to do it all you know some was <laughs> before semis some was before finals right but I've had a great uh, support team great wife of course has always been there and has said don't worry I'll you know uh, fall asleep you, you know don't do it and sometimes it's just too loud you know so and you you're do still wake winning up titles. and yes yeah, so I'm, I'm happy I've been a, yeah. I've been able to stay successful ever since I've had the kids because a lot of the press was probably feeling that things were not going to happen for me anymore after that are they aware of what daddy does about winning losing all these titles they, yeah they are actually now know um, winning and losing a little bit um, then they also understand uh, uh, the practice and the matches now just a little bit so are they showing any inclinations towards tennis no no too young uh, too young I mean we've tried to put them into lessons just yeah. to for their hand-eye coordination and all that yeah. stuff. I think it's important for kids to do sports if they have an opportunity. I'm a big believer that it's a, it's a great lesson in life. Mm -hmm. And so we, we try to give them opportunities, of course, because we can. And, uh, and I, I think tennis is a great thing. So we'll see if they pick it up. You know, when you look at tennis, there's so much more longevity now when you've got two men's players in the top five above 30. So it's, mm -hmm. do you think the 30s are the new 20s in tennis? I don't know about the new 20s, <laughs> but maybe the new 27s. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's nice yeah. to see that even though the game has become so physical, yeah. that the older guys are hanging in there. You know, it's nice to see. Uh, I don't know why that is, but I guess also my generation of players was extremely strong. So um, I think at one point uh, at the French Open we had 30 plus players over 30 years old in the main draw, yeah. which is uh, pretty incredible, you know. And it's nice to see that not players are being pushed out at mm -hmm. 27, 29 because of this physicality we have in tennis right now. So it's very interesting, actually. You're such an ambassador for tennis. We've seen all these like scandals around football, around cycling because of doping mm. and things like that. Do you think as tennis becomes more of a power sport, there's a danger that tennis could become not clean in the future? No Do doubt about it. I mean, you can see Naif says, no way. Tennis is clean the way it's been all the way through. I mean, pretty good. Of course, mm. you, every sport almost has some cases. But I think our sport it just needs to do the utmost, try to protect the sport and make it sh make sure the integrity stays and the fans don't tune into different sports just because they don't trust us the player any uh, players anymore and uh, I've always been uh, a fighter that we have enough testing so, so it needs to be more formalized you think well no more, more funding measures. you name it more blood more urine you name it just all across the board maybe keeping samples as well for a long period of time so you can go back and then punish those players the people or the, the players need to be scared if they right. cheat. Uh, of course, unfortunately, some don't do it. We do it by mistake, but unfortunately, it falls into the same uh, you know, situation that you have to pay the price for it if you, if you cheat.